Good boy. Hello everyone and welcome to another video where I use my dog for easy views. All right, sit. All right, good job. Um, anyway, hello everyone and welcome. Today, we're going to do some more VOD reviews. It's gonna be a little bit of a, of a different format than we're used to doing, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool. We're going to do three different VODs today and we're going to give um, one cool, meaty tip for each player and for each hero. So uh, let's see what's up. Now, Overwatch League is coming out today. In fact, it might even already have started by the time this video comes out. But before we start taking a look at the pros, I thought it'd be kind of cool to take a look at, uh, you know, the people, the players who make the world turn around. That's you. Not any of the other 20,000 viewers, you specifically, but you probably didn't send in a VOD to review. So you have to live vicariously for now. The first one we have is a Moira VOD. This was the one I was waiting for. It's a silver Moira VOD, but honestly, the fact that it's silver really is not too big of a deal. I still get to put my point across, so let's check it out. So here it is, we have it from Gecko Archer, our Moira player. And we're going to see, this is gonna be so obvious. I love this particular submission because it's just so obvious the, uh, well, the point I'm trying to get across here. So let's take a look. First of all, he has a couple questions. Mostly, you know, where should he position, be positioned? When should he be damaging versus healing? When to use the ultimate? and when to be aggressive. We're gonna focus on positioning and how to be aggressive in this particular clip with Moira. Now notice what he's doing. He's uh, he's just standing at the gate here. Just standing at the gate, not really doing too much else. Now for a lot of healers, this would be pretty okay. For Mercy specifically, for Ana, this would be okay. Uh, even for Zenyatta, mostly you're waiting for your team to push and then you're helping them out. Moira is a little bit of a different type of support and We'll see that in just a bit, but really with Moira, you have to be aggressive. Notice what we haven't used so far. We haven't used our shift ability. Let's move out of the way. Our shift ability, that one that I just circled right there. And if you're playing a hero and you're not using one of the abilities, chances are you're not playing the hero to their fullest potential. So here, you really need to get in there and really disrupt things with Moira, and then you can throw your ball backwards to still heal your team. Moira is one of the only supports who can really get back and disrupt that back line. You can see right now that we're really just chilling here. In fact, we pop the ultimate, why not? The ultimate is pretty good when your entire team is pushing forward and the enemy team is kind of stretched, maybe trying to get you in the back and them in the front. Uh, and we can see that this type of thing isn't really working, but our hero here, Mr. Gecko Archer, does something a little bit accidental. So here we go. Now our hero will go over here, right? A little bit interesting. Seems kind of weird at first and it's maybe a bit suboptimal, but he accidentally gets behind the sort of the back lines. He really sort of disrupts the Reinhardt, distracts him. And you can see that this is as far as the team has gotten so far. They haven't gotten nearly uh, this much progress ever so far in this game. And here we could be even doing more things. Notice that our, um, our orb is actually off cooldown. Could have thrown that out to heal our team a little bit. Um, but, you know, still, little things, little things. We're just in silver, right? We're talking about big, broad strokes. Notice we get back behind the Ana. This is so strong. There's nothing really the Ana can do unless she hits you with uh, a sleep grenade or a sleep dart. Sleep grenade, that'd be pretty OP, right? Now, we wind up dying to the junk rat, but still, it's more than enough. Even if we weren't resurrected, our team has more than enough punching power to punch all the way through and grab the point. So, what was looking like an almost unwinnable, crazy difficult point to cap was actually not too bad. Moira is a unique support in that you can't just sort of stand back and use your left click. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty okay, right? But if you're going to sit and be a very supporty type of support, you might as well play Ana, Mercy, or, or Zenyatta. Any of those supports are much better. Moira's special strength is that she can go do crazy stuff in the back line, still use her orbs, to throw, to throw out and still heal her team while harassing the enemy supports and being super mobile and crazy all the time. So if we can see a silver player who accidentally happened to stumble into the back line and have a lot of success with it, then clearly if you were to refine this strategy a little bit more and really practice it and try to be more aggressive with Moira, that could be pretty cool. All right, that's it from Moira. Thank you very much, Gecko Archer. But we're not done yet. Like I said, a little bit of a different format this time. We're going to have three heroes and three tips. 
Next up, we have Reinhardt. This one was sent in by Swin Swappy, and he has a really good specific question that you can clearly, clearly see as part of his gameplay. So he's talking about this game, and he says that he plays an aggressive style of Reinhardt. Great, I love it. But he says, I'm not quite sure of my overall impact because he has really good plays when he's aggressive, but sometimes he just throws. That's his own word, he throws, uh, which he does. Um, so what's the balance between having super big plays and throwing on Reinhardt? And we can see it very clearly here. When to be aggressive and when that aggression is a little bit too much. So here we are in Gibraltar. And we're going to get a cute pick on Genji pretty early on. But in this first fight, we get to see our first taste of what good aggression is. And then when we overstep, and it turns into just a real miserable sort of time. So, good on Reinhardt here. The important part of Reinhardt is to control your space. Have an area of control in front of your team that acts as a buffer. Notice he's not backing down. He's being up there. He's being aggressive. Really, utilize that. Look, you have, you have 500 HP and some of it's even armor, so you have more effective HP than that, really, really use it. And you can see that our hero here did use it, but there are times when you're a little bit too aggressive, when you overstep the boundaries a little bit, and we're about to see this right here. We're just gonna skip like five seconds ahead here, and uh, we're about to press the dreaded shift key. Here it is, charge all the way up, and Sure, he, he almost killed the Moira there. It was like that close to landing the charge. But even if he had landed the charge behind the Reinhardt, suddenly, oh no. Oh no, up goes the Mercy. You know who's in front of the Mercy? The Winston, the Diva, everyone else. And we can start to see in the kill feed, boom, boom, boom. Three kills, just like that. Three deaths for our team. No way you're coming back from that just because we stepped a little bit too far. Now, we're going to see a couple more examples just so we can really narrow down specifically how far is too far. Here we have a play a little bit further in, so the rest of his team is just barely, barely behind him, like right there. Now as Reinhardt, you want to take where your team is, be a little bit in front of them, and have, like I said, that zone of control where no one's really entering. You have that buffer between your team and the enemy team uh, in very simple, simple, simple terms, right? And we're going to see that our hero here does this very well, right here. Perfect. We're up against the cart, we're doing great things, we force the diva out of her mech temporarily, and we're doing phenomenally. We even got the, uh, we got a kill, and we're doing well. Hey, cool, we killed the Genji also. Our team's doing super, super awesome. We almost even killed the Moira, but we start to come into trouble. So here we are, this is a good spot. Notice we've forced the enemy back already. So we've already won, that's it, we've won but it's when you take that next step, when you go from defending your team to going out there and trying to chase down players. That's where we really get into trouble. And so here, uh, we're going to chase out again. Show, okay, yeah, we missed the Earth Shatter, but that's not really that big of a deal. Even if it did land, all it was going to land on is the Moira, which we've talked about this before. And so we'll, we'll uh, walk up a little bit and boom, we dead. We dead, not even close. I know that we got headshot by Widowmaker, but it wasn't even close. And now as a result, our team's gonna get run over and it's really miserable. We're going to take a look at one more play here. So here we are with our team. And now notice, you always have to be aware of where your team is. We have Shadow, our soldier player. He's right here, right? Uh, the rest of our team is right behind us. And so we have our team with us. So we're going to see where our hero does very, very well here. Our soldier is like, right here, just barely right there. We're coming up to defend him and we're creating that zone just barely in front of our team. And see how phenomenally this goes. This is just absolutely spectacular Reinhardt play. And once again, we miss the Earth Shatter. So remember, I mean, you gotta stop whiffing your Earth Shatters, man, especially when you get a little bit higher up. But at this point, it really even doesn't matter. You can just whiff all of your Earth Shatters and we're going to see that we'll stu still do phenomenally. We're just control, and we don't really go that far out. We're just staying with our team a little bit in front and then controlling a little bit in front of that, and boom, easy. So that's my tip for you, is to stay aggressive. It's really, really good, but be aware of that range. You saw in this VOD, and I'm sure you can look at other VODs too, think, like, think, every time you're successful, it's a very specific range you are in front of your team. Once you break that, 
your, uh, your, your ability to really generate value goes down very heavily, very, very quickly. So that's the Reinhardt one. We have one more now, guys, and it's going to be Zenyatta. Now, this one came from our VOD review channel. That's down below in the description in case you're interested. The Skyline Discord. This is a problem we've gone over in the past here on the channel. That's going to be Lazy Aim. Zenyatta specifically, though, is a hero who really falls into this trap. I see a ton of Zenyatta players do this improperly. So let's show what it is. So um, here's a good clip. Now, what I mean by Lazy Aim is, and this is, this is something that it's not really even about your mechanics. All right, this is not something you need to train. Uh, this is not saying, I don't think it's very constructive to say like, oh, your aim is bad, but this is a different type of your aim is bad. This is where you don't even try to aim. And it's sort of a subconscious type of thing. Now, let's take a look at this one clip with Genji. We'll show some more, but uh, just take a look. Like I said, this is especially something that Zenyatta players do. Take a look at this crosshair here. So we're shooting at the Genji. We're going to bring, we're, well, let's take a look at it full speed first and then we'll do it like a frame by frame type of thing. Uh, but we go backwards and man, just, I don't even, I don't even know what we're shooting at there. So let's see, he dashes through us, we turn around and uh, we're shooting over here. <laughs> like that's, that's not even bad aim. That No one is, is that bad that they tried to shoot up here, but they shot there instead. That's not that you don't have the physical dexterity to do it. That's just that you're not even trying. What happens oftentimes, Zenyatta players, they're so focused on discording and harmonying and all the other stuff, and especially because they have 20 bullets in the magazine, just sort of the psh, 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 just sit there, just keep throwing them out, throwing them out, especially because you spam a lot in the, in, when you are in the neutral game. Uh, Lucios do this a lot too, where you just sort of eh, just, just throw them out. Just throw them out, it's whatever. We'll have some more clips. Let's show a couple more. So here they are on the next point. And uh, well, let's see. So we see a soldier up there. All right. Take a couple good shots at him. But look at this, look at this once again. Let's see where we shoot this time. So like I said, these are some good shots. But then where do we shoot? We shoot up there at the light. There's no way. There's no way. If this was properly aimed, anyone would get this far away. Um, and then going even further, we see here that we just get to this point and we don't even, I mean, we're just strafing at this point. We're just strafing and shooting the same spot. So really, I'll just show one more clip. I think we get the point. This is something that's very, very common, especially if you're in gold or silver or platinum, probably. If you aren't really hitting a lot with Zenyatta or Lucio specifically, but also other heroes, chances are you're suffering from lazy aim. Let's just show one more clip here. And by the way, guys, I'm not pointing, I'm not like nitpicking like three clips out of a hundred. This is uh, every single, this is like a permanent thing in this game. I'm just pointing out the extremely ridiculous, only obvious ones that are uh, easy for you to see. So let's take a look at him uh, fighting against a Roadhog here. Pretty big target, right? We shoot over here. We're shooting the wall. We're shooting the wall. I mean, we just used, like, what was that, seven shots? And none of them were even remotely targeting the Roadhog to any degree. Uh, all we're doing is basically just holding the button down and waving our crosshair in that general direction. That's the main symptom of lazy aim, is just the waving, right? If we want to shoot at a moving target, we don't just hold the button down and hope we eventually kill them. We shoot individually like you would on any other hero. Uh, you know, click. Click, click, click. What about this one now? Click, click. You want each of your shots to be an individual unique shot. And if you need to shoot slower to try to get this correct for a little while, then do it. All right, and that's all for today. Just three and, oh, by the way, last video I made a 10. I guess it was just the worst joke ever because <laughs> no one thought it was, everyone took it seriously. I said, uh, cause the last video I made was about mercy, right? And I said, oh, well, in case you guys didn't notice, my studio is in the streets of Zurich. And the only reason that I said that is because Mercy lived in Zurich. And the idea was that it was on the green screen. It was like, obviously I'm not actually in Zurich. It's just on a green screen. But apparently that was just a really bad joke. So I had a lot of people like, hey, yeah, dude, I live in Zurich, hit me up. Uh, so no, I don't live in Zurich. Of course, um, I mean, obviously this studio is on the moon. That's where it is. Um, that's where it's always been, and that's where it'll continue to be, obviously, on the moon. 
So that being said, everyone, if you want to send me in your VODs, you uh, I said it a little bit earlier in the video. So if you didn't quite catch it, go back and check it out. It's somewhere in the middle, maybe after the Reinhardt VOD or something like that. I hope you all enjoy the Overwatch League games that are premiering tonight. I know I'll be watching them. Uh, link to those are in the description, overwatchleague.com. Until then, though, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Never forget to stay positive. And I already said to have a good day. So I guess instead, go down below and tell me what you think about the new Vaudery format. All right. Um, see you later, guys.